how to make a flower ring. For this tutorial, we're actually going to be using three types of beads. This is a string we use, so we're going to cut two strings so me and Koei can make two rings. <laughs> for our first step, we're going to take three beads, and these are going to be the color of our flower petals. Just going to slide three on, just like that. Okay, after... <laughs> <laughs> Since we're going to be making a hibiscus flower that only has five petals instead of six, we're going to have to take this super small white bead to use as the middle or the big one would look like that. So we're going to go ahead and just put it on the end. And then we're going to separate the three beads between one and two. We're going to take the end of the string and then we're going to push it through that first bead right there. And I'm going to be honest, this took me like two minutes. I was struggling. This is definitely easier if you have a needle but we're just using our fingers for today. Anyways, you're gonna push it all the way down and then you should have something that roughly looks like this. After you have something like that, we're gonna take more beads. We're gonna take two more to finish off the petals and stick it on the right side of the string. Now that we have our two beads on there, we're gonna take the end of the string and we're gonna put it through the bottom petal. And we're just gonna go ahead and pull it and then you have your flower so cool <laughs> okay after you have your flower you're gonna pull it kind of tight and then after this step you're just gonna go ahead and finish your ring you can actually turn this into a bracelet or a necklace if you want to we're just gonna go ahead and add white beads and add them to both sides so the knot doesn't have to be by the flower. We're gonna measure out our ring and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it like normal. I tie it three to five times and let me know if you guys wanna see how we do the other flower. The other flower is the one with the six petals and where you don't have to use a smaller bead in the middle. But to hide the knot, I just push it within a bead and there you go. There's our super cute little flower ring. Hibiscus!